Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is day two at the Townsend Birmingham for Park West Gallery. We're ready to start our day, and Tanya's going to explain what's our itinerary today. Well, they're feeding us breakfast to start out, so we're going to head down there. And then uh, later today, they're taking us on a bus tour over to the uh, Park West Gallery's Art Museum. Yeah. And so we're going to do that. And then dinner, we get to actually walk Birmingham a little bit before dinner. And we'll give us a little bit of free that. time to do yep. that. Yep. So we're going to get some video of you know, downtown Birmingham. Yep. And then uh, later tonight, there's a surprise. Our entertainment is going to be quite the surprise. It yeah. sounds kind of fun. Yeah. Well, so we'll have that. And uh, we will share that with you on that time, not now. Yep. So we'll be back shortly, but we're on our way to go have some breakfast. Have a good day. All right. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, like the, like being a host on the Ellen Show. If you want to go up and make some noise, I want to welcome you to do that right now. If you want to get up and really make some noise, your featured artist this weekend, he's here. Another Mr. 305, all the way from Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, coming off 16 sellout shows all around North America, introduced by our CEO and founder, Robert Scalion. Make some noise for two. Liebels is uh, from a heart collection. And what I like about this as a veteran, that he helped a veteran that was working at a um, liquor store, stocking shelves, and uh, veteran helped him with the woodwork while Liebel painted it, and actually helped the veteran get a better job. And uh, I guess he's doing woodwork at a school or something. I mean, this kind of hits home that he really helped a veteran. And it's called a Purple Heart Collection. I really like it. Good job, Liebel. So we're in downtown Birmingham, and uh, it's right after the first half of the auction today. A little break, about 12.40. Gotta be back at 3. So we're just gonna go and show downtown Birmingham all these little boutiques. Hey, a little, little interesting fact about Birmingham. You know how Birmingham came about, Tanya? No, I don't. Okay, so in 1818, four entrepreneurs, say that four times, a uh, gentleman bought 640 acres of land and uh, divided parcels up into businesses, and that's what started in Birmingham. I know, Houston Street, right? He said, well, yeah, he so, probably wants me to be at the airport. Yeah. We're on a mission right yeah. now, trying to find something to eat. So we're gonna look for some uh, food, and... Uh, we were told there's a pizza place up here. We yeah. tried some other restaurants, but everything's pretty that, full. Well, look at this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. That's look, the Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Sorry for the wobbly camera. Oh, yeah, like a statue. 
That's it? That's it, right here. We are actually here. Let's, let's go in and get some pizza. Say bye. Team one, that's going to go from A to L, and then of course, Jason will be M to Z. So I want you to think of your last name in that first letter and make sure that you are in the right team. We will first take a photo in front of the gallery. After that is done, find your respective team, break up, and that's how we will enter into the museum. Now one more time before we get off the bus, I want you to realize we are basically window shopping the museum of the world's largest gallery. That's a big deal, right? Yeah. Right, put your hands together and get ready to disembark. Four times a week since April of uh, you know, uh, of 2019. Uh, yeah, 2019. So um, been doing it 18 months. Um, this is a typical live 
uh, like live TV room that you'd see uh, in television stations or news trucks. I mean, it's the scales that changes. You know, uh, when you're watching the Super Bowl, it's much larger and stuff like that. But what we've got here, we've got six cameras that are working. Um, we've got three camera guys. There are two camera guys on each uh, on a camera guy on each side, and they operate two cameras on there. And then there's another camera that is there's another camera in the center that is a roving camera. And if you've seen the auction, when you go into the a sculpture or onto the back wall, that operates on that side there. We've got an audio guy that's out there. He can play sound effects and so forth like that. It all comes into here, and then uh, I direct. I tell the camera guys, you know, and they, they know the drill, but um, they uh, make the shots. We make sure that all the shots are great. We take them, and we all put them all together with the sound and the graphics. And inside here is where the, the uh, videos are played or the artists or any type of uh, a special feature of the art or the names that come along. And our pictures that you guys send in, and you guys uh, they ask for pictures, you know, uh, they come in here. I have an assistant here that uh, watches that email, and then she puts them on a on a jump drive so I can put it into the system so we can put those up on there. It all comes together, we put it through uh, out to the internet so you guys can watch it with uh, two and a half seconds uh, latency, which is pretty amazing technology, it's just advanced mm. really far. We also record uh, the preview shows out of this room. We do them in a combination of this studio here, which we call Studio A and Studio B, which is on the other side there, that Morris will do uh, pre-records. Um, and we, uh, we bring in our Skype callers uh, as well so we can talk to them live so they can see the art that they're working on the studio so it gives you guys the opportunity to see art before it's available to the masses, you know, uh, the ones that are on the ships and land events, um, and have access to that sort of thing. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's all about a team. There's two people that are out there, the, the control panel, that uh, they, they run the auction of how, what art is coming up. So when you guys call up and say to your, you know, to your sack, you say, hey, we want this piece of art. Or let's say there's competitive piece of art, competitive bidding on a piece of art, and there's something similar. You lost out, but then there's another piece of art. I bring up other piece of art. Uh, they're the ones that are stacking the show. There's five art people that are back that are running all over this place, getting the art and getting it to come on to the set. So while we're on these cameras over here shooting that way, they're changing the art on the other side of the set. And I'm surprised for the 18 months that, that we've been doing this, how little we get people in the shop. You know, it, it, it works. You know, it's, a, it's just a well old machine enough because everyone's contributing. Everyone wants to do a good job here, and uh, it gets it gets a little formulaic, but it, it does have its changes with you know Jason or or, or, or Will or or uh, uh, John or whoever you know going. Well, hang on a second. They walk off set. They go get a different piece of art or something like that. So. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. Um, I have, um, if you're Chris running the sound, this controls all the, the videos that play and the cameras. Those three panels are control the lights. We recently, recently started to incorporate some lighting effects. So when we do Jim Warren and he's got the translucent paint, the black light paint, we can bring the lights down and have them up there or the Vassarellis. So the convex, the concave kind of changes with the light that's on there. Or if like Peter Max's are very reflective, the white borders around us, so I bring the lights down a little bit on the art. So it looks the best for you on there. And um, this is our control monitor. So this is what we watch what you guys see. So we can make sure that what does happen is, uh, is what we think is happening is what you're saying as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, any right. questions or? Do, do, do you, I get most people say that the studio looks a lot smaller than they think it would. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy how, that, how the TV does that, yeah. you know? Makes it look a lot bigger, I and mean, it's very, it's very tight, and, uh, tight space. And so sometimes you hear those noises in the background. Something tips over, or you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, exactly. So. What is your background? So I've been doing uh, video production since eighty, late eighties or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I used to, I do stuff for uh, uh, shade cameras, which is like U of M or at uh, uh, Lions uh, games uh, where the cameras are all at fed the scoreboards or make sure the images are, all the colors are right and the brightness is right. Um, and then working with corporate stuff, we used to commercials for Carhartt and stuff for GM and Ford and Chrysler and stuff like that. And so I was doing stuff uh, for Park West when we were traveling around getting the artists, the uh, features of the artists, the guy Harvey's and Lebo's and mm -hmm. and, uh, um, uh, and features like uh, on Thomas Kincaid and stuff like that, and those, those shot together. And they had asked me about three, about four years ago, we've got some artists that are getting up in their days and they don't necessarily want to travel across for a land event. Right. Can we do something where we do a remote thing yeah. for them? And I go, well, let me look into that. Yeah. And then about a year later, COVID hit 
And they yeah. said, hey, remember we talked about doing this thing? Can we do that sort of thing for the telecast? Oh, yeah. I mean, this, like every place else, was a ghost town on that yeah. day. Yeah. And Albert came up with this idea to do that. And they called me up and said, hey, can we do that? And I said, we can do it. Oh, how about two cameras? Okay, sure. How about three cameras? Yeah. It ended up being six cameras. Uh -huh. And then we, uh, we started actually next door on the other side of the wall here uh, when, by the elevator, the big area. That's where we first started doing the telecast. And then they decided to move us upstairs. And we had three of these upstairs. And we had one in Florida. And they were all happening at the same time. And then we moved down here uh, May? May or April uh, mm -hmm. of this year. We moved down here to uh, expand out because they wanted to turn the, the, the gallery and make the museum uh, larger. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, just, it just made sense. They, they had a bunch of people up there. Marketing was up there, administration, and moved into the foundation building. And so, like, well, let's, let's, let's make it better for the people to come watch, uh, take a look at the museum. Yeah. So, technical. Yep. You know, and it's one of those things that's always the same thing. It's camera, lights, and sound, but it, it, technology is advancing. So yeah. you just keep it in you, you learn as you go. So. Yeah. <laughs>
the next time you come, I can assure you it will be, it, you'll, you'll feel what you saw already, but it'll come, come alive. Um, questions were asked, my wife mentioned to me, some people were talking to her while I was speaking, that one question came up was, will there be some organized way to get through the place so you'll kind of have a feeling like you've accomplished something? <laughs> yeah, really. No, because you could feel like, you know, it was like a real waste of time. I didn't, you know, what did I do here? I mean, I went over here, over here, over here, over here. What did I learn? What, what's going on? So <clears throat> initially, the, it's, it's, we're thinking about that constantly. So I guess you'll think about that constantly. Uh, that's, that's something that has to be under constant review. And where I'm at right now is when you first come in, that main gallery is going to go back to Peter. Uh, you know, I, I have a special affinity for Peter Max and for his art. If you were to come into my home, you'd come into the into like a like a foyer. There's a gallery over to the right, and every little dot you see is a Peter Max canvas. There's no frame, just a canvas, and lots of them. They're all works that some are sad for me. No, I cry when I look at them because they were works that we had already selected. Peter had done the drawings for. The screening had already been done. I've probably got several hundred thousand dollars down the toilet from those paintings. Yeah. I would say uh, the majority of it was done since 1990, and a lot of it was done in the 21st century. Uh, it, it, it was the, the, the nicest, richest part of it. But in any event, a lot of the paintings are additions that already exist, so that, that's kind of cool. Um, and I, I think a lot of you probably enjoy Peter Max's art as well. And initially, I think the thing that happens that comes to mind, you're gonna be introduced to another artist today, tonight. Um, and you already met and worked with, in the last couple of days, Tim Yankee and Dave yeah. Lebo. So if I fast forward back 15, 20 years, I could be introducing Timmy at some event or other. And you have hopes and wishes and aspirations for your artists because you've selected them. You think you, you like their work. You like what it is. You like when they bring it in to you and you can you know be, be the art critic if you like. Meaning that you can go crazy when you see something really, really knocks your socks off. Go, oh, I love that. I love it. That's insane. That's wonderful. That's really what you're looking for. It can't happen all the time with every artist, but it can happen a lot and it should happen a lot. So I remember with Peter when his studio was really, really rocking and rolling and he had a, a great studio going. And you can see sometimes it was going a little faster than maybe it needed to go. And he'd send me a batch of pennies. I'd send them all back. That's okay. I went through one by one. No, no, no. Take the ones that are good. I finished the whole thing. These are the ones that are bad. Take the ones that are good. No, boom. Send them all back to Peter. We photographed them both ways. You should have seen them when they came back. They went like, he went crazy on everyone because he wasn't used to rejection. That, no, he's not used to rejection. He's used to my going. And then after that happened, and I gushed over the moment, oh, you loved them? You really loved them? I, well, Peter, how did it happen? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just tell me, just, you know, it's like, uh, you know, sometimes things are moving a little rapidly, but for us, one of the fun parts about the, the activity in the artist studio is it's alive through you folks. You're the final recipient. What happens if we bring in an artist and you completely reject everything we bring in, no matter what we think of it? We go crazy, screaming and yelling, how great it is, how great it is, don't want it. Right? What am I gonna do, shoot you? I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd be out of business. We'll try again. You know. yeah, that's not gonna work. This is not you know, Eastern Europe or wherever it is, you know, <laughs> that kind of world. But in any event, it's it's uh it's it's a nice situation to be in in a way because you're I'm relying on you and you're relying on me in a way we rely on each other, and uh, that's the fun part of being in the art world. That that's the fun part about it.
Well, good evening, Tanya. What a fun-filled, but exhausting day. It sure was. Yep. So right after breakfast, we had an art auction, and uh, we bought a couple pieces. Then um, we went out to lunch, and it was at uh, Brooklyn Pizza. Is that correct? I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn it, something. It, I think it was Brooklyn Pizza in Birmingham. Um, I liked it. Did you like it? Yeah, that was very good. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was similar to the pizza that we get when we go on our cruises. Yeah, it was uh, um, stone-fired uh, pizza, so I, I liked it. Then we came back and rest up in the room for a little bit. Then um, went down, and they took us to the Parkway Museum. And, oh, boy, we got blown away. There was uh, Picassos and Rembrandts and... Oh, a lot yeah, of... And they don't even have the museum all finished yet. No, they're just added. Just the pieces they do have. Yep. Um, very nice pieces. Yep. Which... Um, and we got another piece there. We got a really good deal on it. So we got another piece at the, um, um, the museum. museum. Thank you, museum. And that's in Southfield. Yeah. That was in Park South... West Museum. Park West Museum. Or Foundation now. And they're calling it Foundation because they do a lot of uh, um, help with... Uh, underprivileged people and everything else so it's more it's park west foundation now mm -hmm. um so we came back and had dinner uh another delicious dinner by the way really yeah the chicken was dry yeah but i thought the beef was good honestly i thought last night's dinner was better was better uh we had braised ribs um i think it needed like a jus sauce or a gravy with yeah, it. same with the chicken. It said yeah. lemon sauce, and there was no sauce on it. It was dry. And, and what's crazy was the thing I thought I didn't like was the um, squash ravioli. I liked that the best. And I didn't like that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I gave it to John. Yeah. I didn't and uh, minestrone soup. Uh, that was delicious. See, I thought, Tanya, your minestrone is a lot better. Yeah. But that's, <laughs> that's what's great about this. You know, everyone has their own opinion, and it was good. But I thought last night dinner was and better. We did go to the dueling pianos for about ten minutes, yeah. but it was quite loud. So I took a couple pictures, and we did leave. Yeah. It, it just it was wonderful. People were having a good time, but just a little loud, and it's already after ten, and yeah, we're kind of wiped out. Yeah, it's exhausting. So, then we got tomorrow to wake up. Tomorrow breakfast and, and check another out. auction, and yeah, right, so and check out and out of here by probably one or two. Yeah, so so yeah, we're gonna for now. I think call it a night. Call it a night, but uh, tomorrow. two full filled days. So I'm going to try to get some sleep before midnight and uh, wake up, have some breakfast, and go to another auction tomorrow and tell you all about that in the next video. Okay. So, um, Sounds good. We'll see you. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.